Okay, hey everyone. Uh, we're going to try something a little different. Instead of day-to-day -day forecasts that you can get anywhere, um, I decided to do something a little different. Um, I, I kind of want to know what the long-range models have for snowfall potential and rainfall potential, uh, just to give us a heads up. Now, some of these models uh, are they're long range. So you got the GFS, you got the European. Those are the two we're going to look at. But once you get past six or seven days, the accuracy goes way downhill. So I'll talk more about that, but I, we, I just want to try this. And so we'll start with the GFS and see if there's any kind of precipitation in this forecast. And uh, you see right there, there's our next chance for precipitation. Now this is uh, 9 a.m. October 27th, so Thursday. Decent chance for some precipitation there. Um, and that would be central northeastern Nebraska. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. Now, moving on, here's our next chance. This is uh, October 27th, so Thursday, 10 p.m. Decent chance for precipitation there. And no snow yet. We'll, we'll see if there's any snow in this forecast. This is uh, headed towards the end of October. Still nothing. Here comes Halloween. Nothing there. No precipitation. November 1st. Still, I mean, this is a dry, dry forecast. Oh, there's a couple of blips. Okay, so this is uh, right there. That's November 2nd. I'll figure out the pencil thing eventually. <laughs> Here's uh, eastern Nebraska. This is more of a kind of a Iowa looking storm. So moving past November 2nd and boy, just not a whole lot. There's another chance for rain uh, November 4th. That's a Friday. So November 4th, I mean, that's uh, well over a week away, but you know, that's a good chunk of change right there. So we'll see if that, uh, if that comes to fruition. Okay. So now we're going to go to the European. So as, so that was one model that was about 10 days out. This one will start off uh, October 26th, so tomorrow, or whenever you're looking at this, and we'll see what the next 10 days has for this model. And when we get, when we get into winter, these, these long range models can go nuts. It's just insane, but um, let's see what happens here. Okay, well, there's some good rainfall chances on Thursday. This is Thursday morning. Uh, let's see, let me get my pencil back over here. Where are you? There it is. So, I mean, that's a good chunk of uh, Nebraska right there. Thursday morning with a chance for some rain. No, no snow. I mean, um, there's some towards Colorado, but my, this is covering it all. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, clear that out. Let's move forward. That rain chance goes away by Thursday night. And this is Friday, Saturday. Sunday, not a lot of precipitation through the rest of October. There's Halloween, dry Halloween, that's not a bad thing. Now we move into November. Here comes some rain in parts of the Panhead. Hey, maybe a little snow right there in uh, northwest Nebraska, the Panhandle, uh, Cherry County. We'll see. All right. Moving forward into the next few days, there's another chance for rain. I mean, we're getting into November and still just rain chances. That means not. Uh, not going to see a lot of cold air, at least not cold enough for, for snowfall. Uh, but uh, just, eh, I mean, whatever moisture we can get, we can get, right? And as we head through uh, November 4th, that's it. So that's this is my plan, is to every day or every other day or whenever I can, come in here and look at and see what the, uh, the updated models have for us. So... Um, this should be interesting. I think I think there's there's going to be times that I may have to throw in. Here's what the snowfall potential is, and sometimes these long range models are just nuts. It's just so much fun to look at, uh, and I I preface this by saying that uh, it's <laughs> they're not always going to be right. Weird, huh? Right. All right. That's it. Uh, see you guys later.